Funny story from the year 2000. It was the very first time I went to go see a movie. And back then, I was a really active kid. My parents tell me that back then, I was always like running around all over the place, whether it be at a restaurant or a antique convention. But in this case, I was at a movie theater. And technically, the very first time I went inside a screening room, <laughs> I... You go in there and I remember hearing this growl like a grrrr sound and I'm like nope and I just leave didn't cry just left and so I leave and then my dad takes me to see actually the movie he paid us to go see and that was Chicken Run and speaking of Chicken Run I'm going to be talking about its sequel as well as the upcoming Wallace and Gromit movie in this video today <laughs> Hey everybody, Blood Moon Bobby here. As I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about a couple of Aardman's movies today because they've announced release windows for them and talked about where they're going to be putting these films. And they also announced the title for the Chicken Run sequel. I remember I made a video back when they first announced that they were finally going to make a Chicken Run sequel, but at the time there was no word of what the movie was going to be called. Well now, there is a title for this Chicken Run sequel. It's going to be called Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget. Literally. Yeah. And as you can see from this picture on Netflix's press release, you could guess that it's about Rocky and Ginger's kids. So what's the movie about? Here is a quote from both Netflix and Aardman. Quote, Having pulled off a death-defying escape from Tweety's farm, Ginger has finally found her dream. A peaceful island sanctuary for the whole flock far from the dangers of the human world. When she and Rocky hatch a little girl called Molly, Ginger's happy ending seems complete. But back on the mainland, the whole of chicken kind faces a new and terrible threat. For Ginger and her team, even if it means putting their own hard-won freedom at risk, this time they're breaking in. So Dawn of the Nugget will be coming exclusively to Netflix in 2023. The main stars, the actors who played Ginger and Rocky aren't going to be coming back this time. I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Fandui Newton, the name will be in the video right here, will be playing Ginger. And Zachary Levi of Tangled and Shazam fame will be playing Rocky while Bella Ramsey will be taking on the role as their daughter, Molly. Although some of the cast from the first film will be returning, I'll include their names here in the video for you to look at. And Sam Fell of Flushed Away and Paranorman fame will be directing this movie. Once again, the movie will be coming to Netflix in 2023. <clears throat> And on to the next film I'll be talking about in this video. It is this new Wallace and Gromit project. There isn't a name for it yet, but there are some details as far as what's it going to be about, where it's going to be released, and a release window. So this is the quote from Netflix and Aardman saying here, quote, Gromit's concern that Wallace has become over-dependent on his inventions proves justified when Wallace invents a smart gnome that seems to develop a mind of its own. As events spiral out of control, it falls to Gromit to put aside his qualms and battle sinister forces, or Wallace may never be able to invent again. Unquote. The film will premiere on Netflix globally, but in the UK it will be shown on the BBC first before coming to Netflix. Wallace and Gromit creator Nick Park will direct this movie alongside Merlin Crossingham and Mark Burton will be writing the script. Once again, no official title will be has been announced yet, but the movie is set to come out in 2024. I am looking forward to both of these projects. I still enjoy Chicken Run as well as the various Wallace and Gromit shorts as well as their last feature film, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, which was the one they did with DreamWorks. I have a lot of great memories with Aardman. I mentioned several times before, they were some of the first, alongside with those Rankin-Bass Christmas specials, they were among some of the first stop-motion um, productions I've seen. And I really credit my dad for introducing me to them. He was the one who introduced me and my sister to the Wallace and Gromit shorts, A Grand Day Out. A closed shave, and my favorite, The Wrong Trousers. 
And he was the one who took me to see Chicken Run back in the year 2000. That was the very first movie I ever saw in theaters. And I don't even... I think I was like, must have been four years old at the time. So really great movies, really amazing work. Like they do some really like amazing things, especially with action sequences in the Wallace and Gromit and Chicken Run um, productions that you almost forget that these movies are done with stop motion, you know, frame by frame animation. Like it's really incredible stuff, including the productions that they did in the nineties and the two thousands. So I am looking forward to these, um, upcoming movies, really looking forward to how they are going to uh, be in the 2020s. Cause it's, li I've literally been like waiting for news like this for nearly the last 20 years. So I'm excited to see that they're teaming up with Netflix to take on these projects. I could really only imagine, Imagine as in like what exactly could happen in these movies. I mean, heck, there aren't even trailers out for them. I mean, they're still technically, you know, oh, a while away. I mean, like for instance, with the Chicken Run sequel, Dawn of the Nugget, I could only imagine that Molly either becomes or is the, the sort of character who learns to become just as clever at coming up with all these plans to save the day just like her mother Ginger was. I remember Ginger coming up with all those ideas, especially like at the beginning of Chicken Run in order to try to um, escape Tweety's farm, especially when the Tweety's come up with this chicken pie machine and they gotta get out of, of that farm. So I'm curious to see what the evil scheme is going to be this time. I remember somebody saying they felt like kind of war movie vibes from the first Chicken Run. I mean, the movie itself, it's not set during a war, it's not about a war, but it kind of has that sort of like sort of dark undertone in the movie because the the farm that the chickens escaped in the first film feels like a prison that they have to escape. So, I kind of wonder if they're going to be like sort of war references or it kind of acts that sort of of way in the movie itself. Not that I'm expecting some kind of chickens versus humans kind of war, but those kind of you have like dark kind of intense vibes that were in the first film I kind of wonder if they'll be in this new movie and uh, like I said I am excited to see what's going to happen in this Wallace and Gromit sequel I'm not expecting the movie to be about like the internet of things or anything like that but when the synopsis of the movie said that Gromit is becoming concerned that Wallace is becoming too dependent on his inventions it sort of reminded me how these days a lot of people are very dependent on smart devices like a smartphone a tablet like the iPad Air in front of me or smart speakers like this Amazon Echo Dot and things like that so while I'm not expecting the movie to be about any anything like that. I kind of wonder if that's what they're kind of going for, for people to relate to Wallace in that way. Um, in case you haven't seen Wallace and Gromit, Wallace is an inventor who comes up with all these, these really amazing gadgets. So I'm really curious to see what this, um, this smart gnome is going to be like. I wonder if it's going to be just as threatening as like all the Wallace and Gromit villains of the past. Like I think of the penguin from the wrong trousers or um, Ray finds this character from the curse of the were rabbit or the dog from a clothes shape. Cause they could be pretty intimidating characters. So I'm just wondering what the hell is the smart gnome going to be capable of. But let me know your thoughts down below. Have you grown up watching any of Ardman's projects? Um, are you looking forward to seeing these new movies? Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Boom Bobby, and thank you all for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos and ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.